Developing news, we could see a decision soon on that tax referendum in Metro Nashville. Before that happens, a judge is hearing arguments on both sides as to whether the 34% tax hike should be left up to voters in December. News Channel 5's Levi Ismail is tracking the latest at the historic Metro Courthouse. Attorneys for Metro and the county say it does matter how this referendum is worded before voters get a chance to cast their ballot. However, the attorneys for the folks who actually put this referendum forward says that it does not matter because at the end of the day, they have the signatures and they followed the rules. Nitpicking, and that's the only word I can think to call it. There's probably a more official word for it, but the message is still the same. And that's the point. At least for attorney James Roberts representing for good government, he knows the petition his clients put together may not be typical, but there's still little debate as to what they want. But the bottom line is what the citizens wanted, they wrote down, they signed, and they turned in. 27,000 people signed the petition to repeal Metro Nashville's 34% property tax hike. The petition was turned in and verified. There are no other requirements. So why is this matter now in front of Judge Ellen Hobbs Lyle? Because after long debates, county commissioners couldn't decide if the petition, as it was written, should go on a ballot. The evidence will show that this election will cost the taxpayers approximately $800,000. That's only a fraction of the $332 million the city could lose if people vote out this tax raise. Mayor John Cooper has already described the grim realities of how this could cut 500 police officers, reduce trash collection and other metro services. Chaos and confusion. Attorney Allison Bussell represents Metro Nashville and pointed out multiple paragraphs in the petition contradicting one another. For all that's at stake, Bussell says every word matters and can't be left up for interpretation. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5.